Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist and I was actually just dealing with my onions and I thought, you know what, this would be a great video to do because I'm sure that you guys are interested in it. So some of you have commented that you kind of want a series where I go through each individual vegetable or plant that you can grow and how you go about it start to finish. So this is my onion video. So I did do a onion sets versus starts um, and how to tell the difference between the two and the benefits of either or. So in that video, I did allude to the fact that I use sets, which is, you know, for some people a very bad thing, but for me, it's very convenient space wise. It's honestly quite literally all I have room for. So sets is my choice now you can use starts or start from seed and it's going to give you a whole other set of benefits so one of the things with these sets which i have behind me if you're looking to get larger onion bulbs or grow larger onions there's some things to keep in mind the first one being is that you want to plant these outdoors earlier so these have been planted outdoors as soon as i humanly could without the frost or you know risk of snow happening so they are a little bit older now they're not huge by any means i am in zone three so i'm a little bit behind a majority of other people so this video we're going to go into how i get a larger sized set and the process I go through um, and to ensure that I don't end up with a ping pong and I end up with more of a baseball or a softball sized onion. Onions are biannuals, meaning the first year they grow foliage, the second year they grow flowers and that is exactly what these are. So these are edible but you do want to remove them and you don't want to allow your onion to set flower. If you allow these to actually bloom and make a flower, you're pulling energy away from bulb formation and you're putting it into flower formation. The other thing to keep in mind is that sets, because they flower, generally don't store as well regardless of whether or not you remove these flowers. So they're not going to store for six to eight months like the actual seeds or the sets or the starts wood so keep that in mind remove these flowers when possible the other method you want to use for ensuring you get a larger onion bulb is actually something called spooning <laughs> so i was literally just doing this and what we want to do is we actually want to dig away all the soil around the bulb which will allow for the bulb to expand and to make a bigger bulb without the resistance of the soil literally our ancestors did this they spooned it was called spooning back then and i don't know if it's because they used a spoon or if it's because they made like a spoon formation around the onion itself i'm not entirely sure why but removing the soil around the bulb will actually help with formation of a larger bulb and the other thing that you want to keep in mind when you're choosing between sets or onion seeds is actually getting the correct onion so these are short day onions you can get long day onions and you can get midday onions long day onions and short day onions form bigger bulbs than midday onions do meaning you're going to want to go with short or long depending on your zone and where you are so zone three canada i am a short day type gal because honestly we don't have a a whole lot of growing degree days here in my area so i'm going to reposition you guys so you can actually watch me do the spooning process and i'll walk you through exactly what i do so we had a tornado rip through here so my onions my garden in general is a little bit flattened but all you're going to do i'm going to try to do this with one hand is you're going to go to the base of your onion um, so down here and then you're just going to spoon away the soil and try not to damage the onion or damage the roots. You don't want to pull up on it or anything crazy like that, but you're literally just going to dig a nice little trench around the base of the onion. And what this is going to do, it's gonna relieve the pressure of the soil and it's gonna allow for better bulb formation. And this is especially important if you decided to plant your onions uh, or your sets a little bit too low or too deep into the soil. So. This is a great method uh, for getting some better results, but like I said, if you have any sort of wind or anything, it's you know likely that it'll do some damage. So this one over here I actually finished, um, and you can see how the bulb is slightly more exposed and on the surface, so it can be exposed to light, and that's kind of exactly what we're going for in this scenario. 
I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below what your method for getting ginormous onion bulbs is and help out the rest of the crew. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.